hi guys in this video i will like to discuss about occupational lung diseases first of all i'll discuss about asbestosis it's a chronic lung disease that is caused by inhaling asbestos fibers and this asbestosis is results from scarring of lung tissues and the scarring by asbestos and this scarring obstructs the passage of air and makes breathing difficult now what are the symptoms of asbestosis that is loss of appetite clubbing of fingers and toes crackling sound while inhaling shortness of breath persistent cough chest tightness and chest pain how you will diagnose in case of early asbestosis you have to do ct scan in case of advanced asbestosis chest x-ray may be enough and chest x-ray appears as excessive whiteness in lungs and honeycomb appearance in the lung so diagnosis by chest x-ray that is that will appear excessive whiteness in lung and honeycomb appearance and the treatment asbestosis is a irreversible process actually you can't reverse asbestosis but it can slow the disease progression and relieve symptoms by giving steroids or uh, different bronchodilator so it has no permanent cure it is better prevention is better than cure the industry workers may use mask or ventilated space etc next i would like to discuss about vagasosis this vagasosis is a form of hypersensitivity pneumonitis caused by caused due to inhalation of sugarcane fiber or sugarcane dust and this this is actually caused by a substance called bagasse and bagasse is nothing but the sugarcane dust it is produced when juice is taken out from sugarcane and this substance bagasse is used for making paper it is believed that a fungus is possibly involved in development of this disease and the symptoms are shortness of breath cough coughing blood low grade fever uh, there may be also development of diffuse bronchitis and the uh, diagnosis you can make by chest x ray that will show mottling of lung or may show a shadow and the treatment is symptomatic by adrenal steroids this is also not reversible next argyria this is not a particular uh, lung disease occupational lung disease it is actually a uh, systemic disease that is caused by occupational exposure of silver particles you can make out from the picture that the skin color skin discoloration it is a feature of argyria so it's a occupational exposure of silver particles next is vicinosis or brown lung disease or monday fever this vicinosis is occupational hazard due to exposure of cotton dust at places when ventilation is not appropriate so it's a occupational hazard due to exposure to cotton the diagnosis by ct scan x ray treatment is steroid symptoms are tightness in chest wheezing etc next silicosis it is often fatal lung disease caused by breathing dust containing crystalline silica particles a basic component of sand or granite so the industry that is related to sand granite the workers may suffer from this chronic disease silicosis symptoms are same that i discuss about asbestosis megasosis that shortness of breath fever um, and uh, as the disease progress fatigue extreme shortness of breath loss of appetite chest pain even respiratory failure may cause it is a very serious disease there is no treatment of it it's also uh, irreversible the only only action that can be taken by 
the industry workers by preventing this uh, disease like uh, using face mask or using ventilated ventilation enough ventilation etc now anthracosis you can see from the picture the color of the lungs is a black it is occupational lung disease caused by deposition of carbon particles so the workers work in industry associated with carbon particles they may suffer from anthracosis now farmers lung inhalation of moldy hay grain dust when the moisture is greater than 30% that favors bacteria fungi growth and uh, the temperature is where the temperature is high and the moisture is also high this favors the um, many fungi actually the main cause is micropolyspora fini and repeated attacks of this bacteria this uh, fungi may cause pulmonary fibrosis in, in many cases it's a fatal fatal thing there are many antigens associated with occupational lung disease i have given a pdf link in my description box if you are interested to study more about occupational lung diseases you can open the link and here all the antigens associated with occupational lung disease are listed in a very good manner please go to the uh, to the description box and open the pdf link and study more about occupational lung diseases thank you very much for patience listening good night